So you see what had happened was da, 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 da. The Tallulah Cheezer decided to go to VidCon. Basically, we were all excited. We were on a plane. Things were going well. When all of a sudden, for some reason, the, the fucking pilot decided to shoot up some heroin. And he was feeling a little, you know, let's just say he overdosed. And he pretty much lost control of the plane. We were all freaking out because nobody else knew how to, you know, fly this fucking plane. So we just went crashing down. And everybody's like, oh my god, oh my god, scary, like, boom, everywhere. We think we're gonna die. And Nick confesses his undying love to Natalie. And that's kind of awkward because, you know, we all thought he was gay, so what? So then we end up actually surviving. And then Nick is all laughing awkwardly because he confessed his undying love to Natalie. But we just pretended to forget about that. Anyway, we're stuck on a stranded island. The pilot's dead and we all somehow survived this. Here's me, Megan, Natalie, Nick, and Kika. And we're like, where the hell are we? We're all trying to make propositions. Nick is saying we're in Iceland, but I don't really think we're in Iceland exactly. A little intense. I'm thinking this is going to be like a Lord of the Fly moment where we might eat each other alive. But let's hope not. Right now, we're just mainly trying to figure out what to do next. We found some coconuts and things are going pretty well there. But we're really trying to make a wrap. I mean, I did see this one movie with Tom Hanks in it where he brought... I think he used coconuts or something like that. But that's what we're trying to do next. Tune in tomorrow for the continuation of our deserted, stranded island. Drama Rama. Let's see. You'll find out from Megan what goes on next. Yes. It's time to tell the truth. The truth is, if you were stuck on a stranded island, see this. Is, uh, this truth was uh, Kika's idea, and I just kind of like went crazy and went off with it, saying that if you're all by yourself on a stranded island, there's five things that you would need. There you go. On this deserted island, what would it be? So the first thing would be a typewriter. At first, I was thinking my laptop, but I knew that the battery would die really quickly, and it's not really necessarily. I think after a while. I would get over the fact that I would not have the internet in my life. Because I mean, I just imagine there'd be no signal anyway to even get wireless internet. And then the battery would die pretty quickly. I just don't know how well a wireless charger would really work. Uh, something that I could write with along the lines of a typewriter. Yeah, I just want to write my story. Because, <laughs> you know, of course I'll be writing journal entries. And then when I escape, it'll be awesome. And then I'll win the Nobel Prize for escaping. So that's why I want to record all of this. Yeah, uh-huh. I have a sketchbook to draw with. I mean, I had to entertain myself somehow, so I would also have a sketchbook as well. Because, hey, maybe I could draw things on the island as well, and then that'd, that'd be even more interesting for this novel that I'd be writing while I'm on this deserted island. I also like to have music, maybe an iPod, or once again, maybe not, because after a while the iPod's battery would die, so maybe CDs. Hopefully, a live band, that'd be even better. I mean, at least I wouldn't go completely crazy since there's a live band there, but then I might after a while just eat them, so that's also a plus. Yes. I would want books to read. They should be either like super epic or super uplifting so I could escape like the current situation. I wouldn't be sitting there crying all the time. I could pretend. Be, I could pretend. What? Wow, I cannot say. I could pretend I'm in the world of an epic world of fantasy or an uplifting drama in a books that are always, you know, end happily. Unlike my current situation. <laughs> the last thing would be awesome tools so that I could actually you know, make like Tom Hanks and actually get the fuck off of the island. That would be nice. I don't think I'd want volleyball because then I would officially go nuts, but you know, hey, that's cool. So yeah, those are the five things I would need. I'm really looking forward to what everyone else has to contribute to our deserted island story, so stay tuned. You will hear more exciting. Yes. Well, I shall skedaddle. I will see y'all next week. Well, bye. <laughs>